Hey everyone. Today is December 11th. Um, Wednesday, December 11th. And I just wanted to bring you along with me as I, as Tiger and I enjoy the garden together. Um, we usually do a walkthrough together in the mornings and I figure I'll bring you along with me and just show you what new changes are um, being done in this garden and to update you on some events that took place a couple of days ago. Um, so for starters, there's a lot of things I still need to do in the garden. Um, yesterday I was out here working on getting all these bean plants, um, all the beans harvested off of the bean plants so that I can redo this bed and get it ready to get planted. Um, I want to put some lettuce, start growing some lettuce and some other things in here. So I just need to get everything um, like taken out of here that I don't want in here like this. <laughs> this right here is these things, these tall things. I still don't know exactly what they are, but it's very invasive and I have to dig out all of it, the root and all, because what's been happening is it's been reforming itself. I don't know if you can see that, but right here at this end, this is a new one that was starting to form off of this root. And this one eventually was going to grow as big as like these and bigger. And so while I was down there cutting this one out, trying to get as much of the root out, that's what I discovered. So I got to get all the root out. And you can kind of see in this one too, down in here, I'm working on getting this. It's the same thing. So anyways, um, I got to get that stuff out, but... I just wanted to share with you what's been going on. A few days ago, that pesky raccoon came back. The one that's been terrorizing my chickens. And it took another chicken. And what's sad is, she was my cream leg bar chicken. Um, I had her since she was a baby. Her name was Robin. I had her since she was a baby. And... Uh, yeah, it got her, took her. It didn't leave a body or anything. It just took her, um, and she's gone. And I had just taken a photo of her and Tiger, who's lounging in the sun over there. I had just taken a picture of her and Tiger together. And that night is when the raccoon took her. It was my last photo of her. And so then, um, that was like three, four nights ago, just the other night. Uh, the raccoon came back to try and take another hen. And this time I heard it and um, managed to get outside and chase it out of there. And... Uh, chased it up a tree. Uh, I actually chased it up this tree over here, this pine tree. And I had my little pellet gun. But I just couldn't see it that well because I didn't have good lighting on my phone. And so it got away. But it ran up this pine tree right here. And it was funny because as soon as it ran up, all the pigeons that were roosting for the night in that tree flew out all at once. It was just crazy. That's how I knew it was up there. And then plus my trusty little tiger here um, pointed out that he was in the tree. He let me know, which I think is just the craziest thing that my cat, my cat is so funny. He, he lets me know things. He really takes care of this garden and he tries to protect my chickens which is more than what my dog does <laughs> my dog on the other hand uh she's just scared of everything 
and it's funny because she's a pit bull and or mix and yeah she's just scared of everything she's scared of her own shadow and which brings me to the next occurrence um my house got broken into and yeah my dog she didn't do anything but want to play with the guys who was ransacking my house uh, they didn't make off with much um, just a few dollars that I had sitting around and um, my son's cell phone they could have done so much more damage to us by um, taking any of the laptops that were laying around by taking any of the um, computers, the gaming systems that we had laying around. Um, they took the cash out of my wallet, but they left my wallet and the my checkbook and my credit cards and my ID was all left in my wallet. They just took the cash. So, I mean, it could have been so much worse, but yeah, they... Uh, They, it was not even late when they broke in. It was six o'clock. Um, we had left to go sing in our uh, Christmas musical at church. And my neighbors, um, they started at my neighbor's house and then made their way over this way to my house. And so my neighbors were alerted and they went on ahead and effectively chased them out. Both of my neighbors, the neighbors to my right and to my left. So that was cool. Well, we went out and purchased this uh, motion light, floodlight right here. Um, but yeah, that, I thought that was really cool. I have some really good neighbors. You know, they they really looked out for our house and everything. They thought something had happened to us because we weren't, we all have each other's numbers and we weren't answering the phone at the time when they were trying to reach us, but it was because we were on stage singing. <laughs> so we couldn't just, you know, get off the phone, right? I mean, get off the stage right then and answer the phone. So anyways, um, and because of the raccoon, I, I got this trap set again. I, the raccoon is way bigger than this trap though. Um, it's like twice the size of this trap. And so, um, I'm going to need to use a bigger, get a bigger trap to try and catch it because it walks around this trap and it tries to reach in and get the food, but it won't go in the other way because it doesn't fit the other way. So either that or I'm going to have to catch it while it's on the prowl and get my trusty uh, pellet gun and and just handle it. It's taken six of my chickens now. Uh, I started out with 13, I'm down to seven hens. And I can't easily replace them because I live in Southern California and right now I'm in a county that's under the quarantine We've been under a quarantine for that Newcastle disease. I just want to show you real fast that I put locks on these windows so I can try and keep that uh, raccoon out. I also ordered uh, an automatic door that opens and closes um, to try and keep it out because it goes inside their coop and snatches them off of the roost. Um, but anyways, We've been under this quarantine for more than a, a little more than a year. So I haven't been able to buy any more chickens. Um, you can't get chickens or eggs or you can't give away. There's no buying, selling, trading, <laughs> giving away anything chicken right now for here. Um, there's hefty fines if we do so. I've been just trying to be patient and wait it out and hopefully January, hopefully in January, if there's no new cases, then 
uh, we'll be able to, I'll be able to then get meat birds um, and buy more laying hens, get some more chicks and try and build my flock back up. But um, in the meantime, I have to get this raccoon situation under control because it makes no sense to buy more chickens just to have them snatched or eaten. So I'm going to do all that I can to secure their area so that uh, I don't have to worry about that. But, um, and it's crazy because, and I think I mentioned this in a couple of videos before when I was talking about the raccoon. We've lived in this house now um, a little over two years and those first two years, we never had any issue with the raccoon. And then all of a sudden, this ra a raccoon discovers we are, uh, we have chickens and we, my, my house gets put on the food map for these raccoons. And um, yeah, so this raccoon has taken six of my chickens in the last few months maybe two months not three maybe two months and so it's very frustrating <laughs> and to think I used to like raccoons I still like them but this one in particular is just it's personal <laughs> so anyways I just wanted to share that with you uh, my family were doing fine uh, all of us was were at church at the time when the house got broken into, so nobody um, was here at the time, and 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 that's a good thing because people are being more desperate and brazen right now because of the holidays. So, um, but we're all fine. And Tiger here, he was laying on my bed where he always is when. Uh, during the day, he's, he spends most of his time on the bed. We do our garden walk and then he goes in and, and he'll go lay down on my bed for the rest of the day and snooze. And so he was on my bed at the time when they came and broke in and they ransacked my bedroom pretty well. And so I'm sure it was a fright for him. Uh, and the dog too, the dog was in the house. She was in the house, but you know, she didn't, my neighbors said they didn't hear her bark or anything. <laughs> and then the police officers, it was several of them that responded when we called and told them we saw someone on our camera in our backyard um, and we weren't home. But um, the officers that responded, they loved my dog. You know, they were loving on her and playing with her and she's friendly dog <laughs> I wish she was more territorial as far as you know keeping people out of the house but to her everything is playtime <laughs> so uh, and it's funny because they also sent the not only did they send several patrol units but they also sent a helicopter and everything they were really trying to get these guys I think these are the same guys that has hit a few other homes in my area so yeah but uh I take time to come out here and pray and also to you know just relax and take my mind off of some things and after all the negatives, this is a positive. I'm so excited because I just received last night the seeds that I ordered through MI Gardener um, from Luke at MI Gardener. Um, I bought 50 different varieties of seeds this time, and 23 of them are heirloom tomatoes. <laughs> I'm loving these tomatoes, so I want to try all the different varieties and and just look at all the different colors. I'm so excited about that. I can't wait to taste every last one of these, but 
my garden is not that big. <laughs> so right now I have, I don't know the exact number, uh, total tomatoes, but I'm thinking I'm hovering about, um, about 40, about 40 different varieties, maybe a little bit more, not quite 50 of tomatoes and only have eight containers, raised containers to put them in. So I'm gonna have to do some clever planning this spring so I can see how I can grow as many of these as I can. Some of them might have to wait until next the following spring. So I don't know. Another thing that I'm excited about are these peanuts right here. Never grown peanuts before. So I'm excited for those. I'm excited for that sunflower. That sunflower is just beautiful. I can't wait to see that growing in my garden. Um, I'm excited about this moon and stars watermelon. Now this one, not so much for myself because I don't like watermelon. I don't really eat watermelon, but I told myself when I started gardening that I'm gonna at least try everything that I grow. So I'm excited about those red lettuces. They're pretty. And I, once again, I don't eat a lot of okra, but I have a burgundy okra and a hill country red okra. And I got those just because I like the colors. <laughs> I, I don't really care for okra too much, but I'm willing to try it fresh out of the garden. Um, I'm also excited about this black radish right here. Um, it's a black Spanish radish. I'm excited about this watermelon radish. Um, I'm excited about all the tomatoes, so I don't even want to have to go through all of those. I'm excited about every last one of those, so. Um, and another one that I'm excited to do is this uh, little potato cucumber. And then this one, I don't even know how to say it. It's a Puna Kira cucumber. It's kind of reddish and stevia. I'm gonna grow some stevia for Daniel, uh, for my hubby, so uh, I'm trying to get it, uh, grow it, dry it out, and grind it up and see if I can make, because if you've never tried fresh stevia or a stevia plant uh, leaf, um, they're really sweet, the leaves, very sweet almost too sweet to eat. <laughs> and so since my husband has diabetes, um, and that's the substitute that is used uh, that I saw in the store, why not get it from the plant itself and grind it up and do it myself? There's some things that I wanna still look into, but I will start growing this and experimenting with it and seeing what I can do with it um, but yeah, I'm just so excited about all these things. So it was good to have something positive happen, um, with all this negativity that I have going on right now. A lot of things that I'm doing in my garden that I have yet to do, um, and finish. And I have a really nice vision for this yard itself and how I can, um, grow my own food and and everything so I just wanted to share with you just my journey um, with that transition with, this is my second year um, growing my own food and not very successfully all the time there's times that you know I do well and things I, I grow well <laughs> And there's other things that I struggle with, but it's all a lear learning process. And so a lot of times I do a lot of experimenting to see what works 
and maybe there's some things that I'm doing in my garden that might work for you and, and maybe not. Maybe there's some things that I know that, you know, will benefit your garden or maybe not. Maybe you have some information for me. Um, and please feel free to leave a comment, um, any suggestions, advice. Um, I eagerly look forward to sharing this whole experience with you guys. So, like I said before, thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And um, click the little bell to be alerted of my videos as I post them. Um, and as always, God bless. My neighbor's dogs are howling because <laughs> of the sirens. It never fails whenever I'm trying to videotape something. Just a whole bunch of stuff goes on. Airplane goes out by, flies over. Uh, cars, big old trucks go by, make a lot of noise. Or the, or the principal at the elementary school across from me decides he wants to get on the loudspeaker on their intercom system and do a long speech um so it's always something